Hey there, rednecks, preppies, redneck preppies. It's me, the redneck preppy. How you doing today? Great, good. If you've regularly watched my reviews, you might know that I'm constantly looking at improving on my range gear. That doesn't just include the gear that I use at the range, but also how I transport that gear. Now, up until recently, I used a simple backpack to transport stuff like ammunition, spotting scopes, and the like, and a regular rifle case for my firearms. Couple of problems with that setup, though. The backpack could get heavy and awkward, and the rifle cases I own could only contain one rifle at a time, and none of them were long enough to completely hold some of my really long rifles, those ladies from the 1800s that could reach, you know, 53 or 54 inches in length. So I got to thinking recently, was there something out there that wasn't too heavy on its own, could carry what I needed for a range trip, and accommodate up to two rifles, an all-in-one solution? Turns out, if you spend enough money, there is. And for me, it turned out to be the manliest range bag I've ever come across. The Savior Equipment Urban Warfare Double Rifle Case. Or did it actually solve my problem? Well, keep watching to find out. So briefly about the case, as its full name suggests, it is designed to hold two rifles at a time. Uh, the cases come in various sizes from 36 inches long all the way up to 55 inches, which is the one that I went with for those old rifles I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can also get them in a variety of colors from black, OD green, gray, and earth, as well as in multicam. Now, if you stick to the solid colors, the prices range from about $83 to $120. Uh, and if you opt for the multicam version, it goes from $200 for the 36 inch version to $250 for uh, the 55 inch version. Ladies, of course, dig the multicam, so only a simp would opt for a solid color, right? So, what do you get for that money? Now, before I begin, whenever I do reviews, I use pictures and video that I take myself, but I have to admit that I had some difficulty doing so with this rifle case. It's so large and so long that I couldn't capture good quality video or pictures, and I had to use some images provided by Savior Equipment instead. So apologies for that, but reassured that it didn't influence my review. It was written before I even received pictures from the company. And thank you, Savior, for helping out with those pictures. Now, the case itself, both inside and outside, is made of 600D polyester, and it is pretty rugged. Now, it's not military-grade pack material, but this is a rifle case, and I think 600D polyester is certainly appropriate for it. You've got Molly-compatible webbing available to you, and a morale patch panel for all of the Molon laving and Kawabunga it is in that you need. Actually, maybe even some rooftop Korean patches. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, we'll look at outside storage a bit later. Let's look at the available options on how to carry it. You certainly don't suffer for choices. Now, you have up to four different ways to do so. On the back, you have adjustable backpack straps that are removable, as I have done because I don't carry it that way. But yeah, going to school or something, backpack. And uh, along the side, you have an adjustable shoulder strap, also removable, and the usual carry handle. Finally, you have drag handles on either side of the end of the case. Not sure why you would drag your range bag around like that, but it is available to you if that is in fact your thing. Uh, all of the zippers are lockable, so if you live somewhere that requires locked storage of transported firearms, or you just want to lock your bag up, this will probably suffice. Uh, the case opens up in a clamshell fashion, and you're greeted with two padded rifle slots that are divided by a full-length padded panel that you can actually remove if you wish. Each rifle can be secured with three Velcro straps and pockets at the end of each of these slots. I found this compartment to be large enough that even rifles with scopes fit fine height-wise, 
but this is the 55 inch model depending on your setups and if you use a smaller case from the urban warfare lineup might not work out the same for you this one though you could probably carry a body in it uh, on the back there is a zippered storage compartment that you can access by one of two zippers and are good for thin items like targets paperwork the phone numbers of ladies you bring to the range, you know, whatever, that sort of thing. Now, onto the front where most of the storage space can be found. On either end, you have two pockets, which can be secured via Velcro strap and buckles. You can put a fair amount of stuff in these. Uh, I have my tool bag in one and Iron Ear Pro in the other one with plenty of room left. Now, on this large compartment here, you have two zippered pockets on either side. Uh, this large compartment is referred to as a double pistol compartment by Savior, and it utilizes these two sleeves for the pistols, both of which can be closed via Velcro. Uh, you have two zippered mesh pockets in the lid of this compartment, and you have this area here that you can use as well for less secured storage. Uh, I keep my spotting scope and gun rest here. Uh, you do not suffer for lack of space. My entire range bag disappeared into this rifle case and I could probably put a lot more in before this case started to look comically stuffed. Add a rifle or two and some ammunition and it's time to hit the range. Now as for using it, what I'm about to say exclusively applies to my experience with the 55 inch model so this might not translate into your experience if you go with a different size case. Uh, it can be a bit awkward to transport if you use the shoulder strap as I do. It's long and a bit heavy because I now have a range bag and a rifle case in one package. So getting it into the back of my Jeep, while not particularly difficult, isn't as easy as just tossing a separate bag in a case. Uh, it does fit fine on the back seat of my Jeep, but if you have a smaller vehicle, this might not be an on the back seat option for you. Uh, if you're buying the Urban Warfare, though, you don't own a small vehicle, do you? Uh, it also does take up a fair bit of space at the range, particularly if you have it you know, completely open. Uh, depending on your situation and your shooting mates, that might be a thing. Then again, you bought this thing to send a message. It's like those guys who put their car keys prominently on the bar top. You're marking what belongs to you. Territory. That said, I've appreciated that I don't potentially have to make multiple trips to bring my gear down uh, from my vehicle to my shooting station, and that I have everything that I do need in one package. So, in use, it works just fine. Okay, pros and cons time. Let's start with cons first. To be honest with you, not much in the way of cons. Uh, some would consider these things pricey, particularly if you opt for the multi-cam pattern ones. You know, compared to let's say a backpack that you could buy at Walmart and a rifle case you can pick up for a couple of bucks. That is a fair point. Uh, but as a counter, I would say that the quality is there to justify the price for these things. It would be nice if it was made in the United States. Uh, when your line has products called American Classic and The Patriot, it kind of behooves you to make it in the United States. And no, designed in Los Angeles isn't enough. Uh, I do wish the main compartment were a little deeper, uh, the same as these two pockets on the side, but that's a minor point and specific to my use case. I don't think most people would care either way. Now, as for pros, I've got a few of them. Uh, I like the quality construction. The case seems, at the risk of making a bad pun, bulletproof. Sorry. Uh, the multiple carry options are good, and the fact that you can remove uh, several of them if you don't use them is a nice touch. Uh, the storage space is fantastic in this. Uh, there's so much stuff that can fit into this case that I was actually amazed that the contents of my entire range bag vanished into it, and I still have a few empty pockets. Uh, I like how the rifles and handguns are secured in their individual compartments. The padding for rifles seems to be sufficient, and the straps uh, inside that compartment have kept mine virtually immovable during transport since I've been using this case. Uh, the lockable, heavy-duty zippers are a great way to secure your firearms. 
Granted, a soft case, even one as well made as the Urban Warfare, is not a replacement for a sturdy hard case, but if you're transporting firearms to the range and this meets whatever you know legal requirements that your jurisdiction may have, it's a nice bonus. So I've been making a bit of fun at this rifle case because of its name, Urban Warfare kind of provokes that response from me, deservedly I think. But to be serious, I think this range bag is actually pretty damn nice. It feels a need, at least for me, being able to carry everything I need for a range trip in one fell swoop. Yeah, you can get this thing to be pretty heavy, but that's on you and what you decide to pack along. It's flexible enough to carry multiple firearms and gear at the same time without looking like a blue-haired feminist packed into tight clothes. <laughs> yes, I do recommend the Savior Equipment Urban Warfare Double Rifle Case if it's something that would meet your firearm transport needs. It's pricey to be sure, but I think you can justify that price given its quality and convenience. So if you feel like asserting your dominance at the range while being able to pack all of your gear and rifles and handguns into one case, I would definitely recommend this rifle case. At any rate, I hope you found today's video to be at least slightly informative and vaguely entertaining. As always, I hope all of your trips to the range are filled with ringing gongs and tight groups. Take care and bye bye.